same company, and Steve's from Texas. So which Dallas. company is that? It's called Jungle Eyewear. We're an eyewear importer and distributor. Oh, okay. Optical frames and glasses. Excellent. Did you fill that out? And and uh, what's your what's your name, Steve? Steve Reynolds. Okay, and your eyewear, your eyewear. Optical frames. Optical frames. Yeah. Excellent. So when you get a little older, we'll get you, man. I'll tell you, I need them. I, need, <laughs> yeah. I, I can't even read this I, anymore. I, um, so how long have you been in that business? Uh, about 25 years. Really? Yeah. Wow. Same business all the way through. Uh, intermittent variations of it, but uh, yeah, pretty much all these importing and distributing eyeglasses. Okay. Uh, Are you a TSEA member? You know, I'm, we're not members. We attend the show regularly and, uh, you know, take the classes and stuff, but uh, we need to probably join and become members. Okay. If I clip it onto my hair, but it's a little thin. <laughs> How's that? Can you hear him? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you, can you hear me now? Can yeah. you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Isn't it funny how advertising takes over our lives? Where's the beef? You know, see, I wish my wish I could come up with a marketing slogan that was that powerful. No kidding. That people market. would do. Yeah. Absolutely. So you've been in the industry for a while then? Been in the industry for a while. You know, we've been done trade shows throughout the years. And it's really not until I come to TS2 that I really learned how to do trade shows. You know, there's always this showing up and hoping we're going to be successful. Now we show up to show and we know we're going to be successful. You know, in seeing everybody here and all the, you know, in the past you'd get, hey, how about looking at our pop-ups and that's the only person you thought did them. And now you see there's a hundred people that do this, you know, and flooring and, and just all the different, it just opens your eyes to all the different options that are out there. Wow. How long have you been coming to the show? This will be about uh, five years, six years. Now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you travel a lot, obviously. You do a lot of shows. Yeah. Uh, anything happen on the road that uh, kind of sticks out initially? Well, we, we met Lonnie. You know, <laughs> she's a roadie. <laughs> Road shows successes. You know, I think everybody's had their experiences of, you know, the freight not being delivered on time and sitting there. I can remember one night I was in New York waiting for two little bitty crates, you know, they're going to pack all my stuff up. So we wait, oh, you'll be right out. Well, that was the show ended at 5, about 9.30. I said, okay, we're starving and falling asleep. We go to the end of the city have dinner, come back and sit there till like 2.30 in the morning waiting, you know, after a long weekend worth the show. And I said, any more, if I can't put it on my back and walk out of here, I don't want to take it, you know. <laughs> but I mean, if you're doing three days of being on your game from, you know, eight in the morning till five at night to sit there and wait on somebody with a forklift to deliver boxes crazy. What else have we had happen to us? You know, outside the rep mishaps of falling down steps and breaking bones and, you know, different things. Was this, oh, okay. <laughs> first one. Do you want to go into that <laughs> no, one? No, no, not really. Not really. That, that, that wasn't that the show. No. That was like a, one of the, the, yeah. the night functions, right? <laughs> well, that's a big part of it, you know. Yeah, right. You know, I, I think that's really, when you go to the shows, it, it is the combination of what you talk to on the floor. But it's also that interaction after hours when you get to sit in the bar or whatever and interact with other people and how do you do this and stuff. You know, these networking opportunities. And I think TS2 has done a good job with the, the block party because, I mean, that's where you really hear the real story. I mean, here you're working, you're trying to shop, you're trying to hear what these people have to say. And when you're sitting back and relaxed and you're hearing their war stories and your war stories, if you're looking for a war story, hmm, I think they're my most memorable trade show experience. There was always Mexico where we walked into this resort, one of the best resorts in Mexico. But they weren't really set up for exhibitors. And so they had an indoor tennis court. And we're on a tennis court. And there's probably 30 vendors in a tennis court with a couple of hundred attendees to come and see us all. How much, how much net square foot space is that, right? It was about a shoe box. <laughs> yeah, it was about a shoe box. It had shoe horns and they kind of slipped us all in. It's like, you know, coming through, coming through. But, you know, there's all kinds of experiences of, you know, I've seen the, I've seen the pull the curtains and stuff fall before. You know, that's always an experience. Uh, what else have I seen? But we've decided to get rich quick in this business. We need to sell shopping cards for all the trick-or-treaters that come by. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. So we want first sponsorship on all shopping cards <laughs> that you guys are in. That's what a great idea. Just 
Push it along. Yeah. <laughs> you that or we won't motor are we won't motorize carts and you know like the rickshaw rides from one end of the exhibit hall to the other. Yeah. We'll carry you where do you need to go? And we'll carry you right to that booth. And, and they could be green, you can make them battery powered. I'm thinking human power. Lonnie's a pretty sturdy woman. She can carry a load. <laughs> <laughs> this woman's durable. <laughs> well, thank you. You, you. you knocked it out of the park. Thank you. You did a great job. Thanks. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Your turn.